Today, we'll be looking at an ethical case. So follow along with me. A 23-year-old woman was found in a ditch and brought to the hospital by police. She has a high fever and white blood cell count is suspected of having an infection. She tells staff that she is from Georgia and lived in an assisted living facility because she is schizophrenic and bipolar. Her mother has custody over her. She escaped the facility and hitched a ride with some guys up to northwestern Ohio. They have been sexually assaulting her as payment for the trip and have now dumped her into a ditch. Her mother is called and verifies that she indeed is a patient at the facility and is started on antibiotics. The next morning, she has a fever and wants to leave despite being advised on her risk on untreated infection. The mother is called who insists that she is kept there until she is able to bring her home. The staff tells the mother that she must fax proof that she has power of attorney over her daughter if the hospital is to keep her. The mother never responds and cannot be reached. Question. Should the patient be discharged against hospital advice or be restrained? Should she be declared incompetent to make decisions about her health? And what is more important, patient autonomy or what is perceived to be the greater good for her and for society? Now, I'll give you a moment to ponder these questions in this case. Now, as a conclusion and advice to this case, ultimately, she was found missing from her room and had left the hospital. When police found the patient walking down the street an hour later, they called the hospital for guidance on what to do with her. The staff at the hospital informed police to let her go. They had no grounds to keep her. Without the mother being able to supply a proper power of attorney proving that she had custody over the patient, there was no way for the hospital to be able to hang on to her. The patient was over 18, meaning that she had her own autonomy and had the ability to make her own decisions in this case. Without the power of attorney provided by the mother and proof that the patient was indeed schizophrenic and bipolar, the hospital had no legal grounds as to restrain her or keep her in the hospital for her own good. And that was today's ethical case.